Let me start by saying that, as you know, we publish two lots of statistics, as it were, uh, each year. At the, towards the end of the year, we published a set of statistics <coughs> about activity in IP worldwide, what's happened in, uh, uh, worldwide in respect of national filings. And now, at this stage every year, we publish the results of our international filing systems. Uh, so these give insight really into the use of IP uh, around the world by different entities. And I'd start with the point that, uh, as you know from our first set of indicators, which concerns what's happening worldwide at the national level, IP in general is in a growth mode, and in a growth mode which is in considerably in excess to either the national GDP growth rates or in excess of the world GDP growth rate when you look at, uh, uh, look at it in internationally. And so I think that's a first uh, point. And a second point to make is that there is also st not just strong growth in, in the demand for IP generally, but there's strong growth f in the international systems for IP protection, which, if you like, is a measure also of uh, the extent to which IP is used uh, in a globalised manner or used internationally. Uh, specifically, uh, let me say that uh, each of our uh, global systems, so we have one for patents, the PCT, we have one for trademarks, the Madrid system, and one for designs, the Hague system. Each of those systems uh, experienced in 2013 considerable growth and growth rates in excess of world GDP growth rates or world economic growth. So for specifically for the PCT, 5.1% uh, growth rate is our estimate over the preceding year, 2012, uh, taking us for the first time beyond 200,000 international applica patent applications in a single year, taking us to 205,000. Uh, for trademarks, uh, it was the Madrid system had experienced growth at 6.4%, taking us to about 47,000 international trademark applications. And the Hague system for designs is a much smaller system for various historical reasons that I won't go into, but nevertheless experienced growth uh, rate of about 15%, 14.8%. Uh, I won't say much more about the Hague system. Uh, uh, I'll focus on the first two, but let me make uh, two comments perhaps about the Hague system. One, we're expecting this system to grow very, very, very significantly in the coming 12 months because we are expecting the Republic of Korea, the United States of America, Japan, China and the Russian Federation all to join this system which will, which will mean that the system will be much more globalised and also give us more interesting results about what's happening for designs worldwide. And the second thing I would say about the designs is simply to signal that uh, Switzerland was the top user of, it uh, was not the top user of the system, uh, yes it was, it was the largest user of the system, Switzerland. I am, yes, <laughs> second time I'm sure. Uh, but the largest individual user was Swatch, followed by uh, Philips. Um, now let me move to uh, patents uh, and the PCT, if I may. Uh, the US and Japan together uh, accounted for 85%, 80% of the uh, growth that we had in the PCT system. So those two together um, were the principal drivers of the growth. In the case of the US, they filed some 57,000 international patent applications, okay, uh, which is a very significant uh, number, obviously. The second largest user of the system was Japan, with about 44,000 international patent applications. And the third largest user was China, which for the first time filed more international patent applications than Germany. Germany is in fourth place. 
uh, to note what we've talked about in recent years, that together, China, Japan, and the Republic of Korea, their share of international, publication, uh, international patent applications has risen from 25% in 2007 to 38% in 2013. Okay? 38, 38. This is China, Korea. China, Korea, and Japan. From 25% mere five, six years ago to 38%. So that's uh, quite extraordinary, really. Uh, in terms of countries and looking at other countries, once you go beyond China, for the middle income and poor, uh, low income countries, uh, then the next largest user is India with 1,392, 1,400 applications. Then you, uh, then you drop from India to Turkey, uh, and then to Brazil, and then to South Africa, Malaysia, Mexico, in order. Uh, the one that uh, has grown uh, the most amongst those is Turkey. And it's interesting because we notice growth for Turkey across all three of our systems, the PCT, Madrid, and The Hague. In the case of the PCT, Turkey uh, number of applications, international patent applications from Turkey rose by 56%. In the case of uh, Madrid, uh, the percentage for Turkey was... Well, I can't give you a percentage just off the top of my head, but Carsten will look for it. But they, it was a significant growth rate. Uh, and in the case of... Um, the Hague, they also experience significant growth. But we see them, uh, Turkey, it's interesting, very strong in all three areas. Uh, perhaps something about the companies, different companies. So uh, rather than countries, and now on patents again, PCT, Panasonic moved into first place as the top father again. It has been there previously, but last year, uh, it was ZTE of, of um, China in first place, so Panasonic overtook ZTE. Third place was Huawei, China, so you go China, Japan, uh, Japan, China, China. Uh, and uh, following in fourth place was Qualcomm, US. But you'll see that in the annex to the press report. Uh, you'll see it in annex number... Five, four, sorry, three, three, annex number three. Uh, perhaps to note universities, and you could look at that in annex number four, uh, you'll have a listing of the top uni university users of the PCT and filers. And uh, in the top ten of those, all but one of them uh, are American institutions. Uh, the one exception is KAIST, which is a, a Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. And the top is University of California. Uh, what else will I tell you about patents? Maybe i make one other comment about uh, the patents and PCT. And that is we notice, notice significant growth in use of the system by car manufacturers. So this is perhaps an indication that lots is going on in the automobile industry in terms of innovation. Uh, a number of PCT applications filed by car manufacturers rose from what well, it almost doubled uh, in th the last three years, from about 2,322 in 2010 to 4,275 in 2013. Okay, briefly then on the Madrid system uh, for trademarks, strong growth, largest user, Germany, followed by the US and France. You know, uh, because the system, the Madrid system, is in evolution and growth, you know, if you look at the PCT system, there are 150 participating countries, member states. If you look at the Madrid system, there are 91. So it is growing. New countries have come into it in the last 18 months, for example, India, Mexico, Philippines, um, New Zealand. 
um, Colombia. So uh, it doesn't give you as uh, accurate a reflection, if you like, as the PCT does. Uh, but nevertheless, you have Germany as the top user, followed by uh, US and then France. Uh, and uh, I suppose the other thing I'd say is top, top user company is Novartis. So from the point of view of Switzerland, for those interested in Swiss performance, it's interesting. The top design filer in our international design system was a Swiss company, Swatch. The top uh, applicant for trademarks in our trademark system was uh, a Swiss company, Novartis. And in terms of performance in the PCT, if I'm not mistaken, Switzerland is the eighth largest filer of PC international patent applications, which is a position well in a in you know punching well above its weight in terms of population or total economic growth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes.